In this video, we're gonna be talking about bunch tight end. We're gonna be talking about the most underrated play in the formation. And we are in the run heavy playbook. Now, if you wanna get my entire bunch tight end offensive ebook, uh, you can join the Patreon. 10 bucks gets you access to everything. All of our ebooks, all of our updates to those ebooks and any new ebooks we release while your membership is active. We're gonna be doing a ton of content um, in the Patreon, getting everybody ready for Madden 24. So if you're not a member yet, head down to the description, go join it. 10 bucks gets you access to everything over there. Now, the most underrated passing play in bunch tight end um, is actually only found in the run heavy playbook. And it is this play tight end uh, corner. This has been a really, really good Madden play for pretty much the last at least eight years, if not longer. And it's one of my personal favorite passing concepts. So how can we utilize tight end corners? It's actually one of the most versatile um, versatile passing concepts in the formation, and uh, let's let's just get into it. So tight end corner, um, you know how how do I like to utilize uh, tight end corner? Pretty simple. So what I like to do with this is create um, and and really build around. You have pretty much every route you need to be successful. You think about it. You have a corner route on both sides. You have this post route, and what this post route will do is it will get over the top of any 30 yard cloud flats, for example. So um, I'm gonna show you a couple different coverages and then we're gonna talk about um, other things that you can do to work around it. So basically what I like to do with this play is we're gonna streak our tight end, we're gonna block our running back, and then I like to just simply put uh, Barry in motion. You can either put him on a drag route um, you could put him on this in route or you could put him on a slant and it's kind of up to you and kind of depends on where you're going to snap the ball. Um, what I like to do is just snap the ball right when he crosses and put him on a slant. So it's going to look like this and you'll see right away. This is really going to give us a lot of options for attacking man coverage. Okay. Um, we're able to attack man coverage on the left sideline. We're going to be also able to attack man coverage over the middle and we're going to be able to attack man coverage on the right sideline. So let's say they're in a defense that looks like this. Um, the second I put this guy in motion, the second I put, uh, I put this guy in motion on the left side, if they're in man coverage, especially if they're in a nickel set or they're not baselined, he's going to get followed in man, okay? That's also going to slide that nickel corner in and give me really good alignment for this corner route against any kind of man coverage. So what's the best way to counter um, the corner route on this play if you're playing a man? OK, the best way to counter this in man is really to do something like this and then, you know, essentially have a cloud and have man. Now, they can get to that in a lot of different ways. OK, they can certainly get to that in a lot of different ways. So we're not going to spend too much time on that, um, but just say just for now, like that's the best way they can cover it in man. They have to have some kind of zone. OK, it's got to be something. It can be cloud, a third, something over there to defend uh, Eric Berry. If they don't follow him, then it's likely that it's not man. It's likely that it's zone, which would change our routes uh, a little bit. Uh, and we'll talk about that setup uh, more so tomorrow. We're going to show this play against zone. But really, this motion is super key because against man line, it just really messes with it. Now, the other thing that you have here is you have this post route. And look how much separation that route gets. The other thing that is really important, and, and so again, I want us to think through just like systematically, okay, what can they do to stop that specific post route outside of using it? There's all, there's not much they can do. Um, there's really not, okay? Uh, so again, you gotta think through like, okay, so we're gonna motion, they're in this specific alignment. What? Who can drop 30, 40 yards down the field? Not, I mean, it's really not an option. Um, and, and you also have to have somebody drop on the other side. So I'm going to forget the slant for just a second. We're going to utilize this in route. Um, and this is how I would run the play if I wanted to let him sit, let the guy sit and let this route run. Um, the beauty of this setup and why this is actually like, it, you could make an argument. This is almost better than the slant route um, is because this will space the field a little bit more, give you a little bit more time to hit it. So let's say they were really good at adjusting, okay? And they did something like a cross man uh, onto Barry and they have a, a cloud. Let's say that cloud is dropped at 30 yards. The ball is on our 30 yard line. And if you just watch this play, you're gonna notice that a 30 yard cloud is not gonna be deep enough to defend that route, right? I just threw the ball 50 yards down the field. It's a 50-yard sideline dot. 
So it gets 50 yards down the field. So the only way that they even have a shot, um, the only way that they even have a shot at defending uh, that specific route is with a ton of adjustments, okay, first and foremost. So the adjustment is they have to put this guy in the third. They have to put the guy on the right in the third. This is why I like to suggest to run this play um, with the ball on the hash mark. So we have two thirds to defend these outside breaking patterns is really the best defense for this. And then the user in the middle of the field. But the beauty of this, of this streak is this streak will clear out a third. So you'll see the third there. I can now throw this here before he gets to the third and you see how good this play is. You see how valuable this play is. So a third really isn't the answer on the right side. Really the only answer on the right side is for them to play almost like a mid-read defender and user the route, okay? That's the best thing that they can do. This is why this in route is so good if you let him set. Um, and again, you can run the slant, okay? You can run the slant, but if you let him set and it's either a drag or an in, you gotta think about it. For them to have any help, They've got to have this guy in a third. Unlikely that they will have that. Very unlikely that they have that. But in the case that they do have those adjustments on the field, um, now if you think it through, then they're either going to have a man up or they're going to have a zone on Barry. Okay, typically, and really the best coverage is going to be man. But cross man, especially against like a drag or an in route, struggles to stop it completely. So you see right here, I can just check it down to Eric Barry if they want to use her. And if I notice that they're running a lot of man, okay, if I notice that they're running a lot of man, we can make it as, as simple as this. If we notice that there's a lot of man ups going on, then all we have to do is put them on that slant, snap it right here. That slant lights up and you see that it, I don't know, that's one of the worst pass leads I've ever seen, but you see he's open. Okay. I meant to pass it down inside. Somehow free form didn't get the memo, but that's the idea. And again, I'll, I'll double team him you know, for just for the, the purpose of illustration here. But you can, if if it's, if you believe it's straight man, you can leave the tight end on the corner. Um, but you see, I mean, it's just open. Like the slant route's open, um, that motion slant. So it's a great read because the, the user kind of gets pinned in the middle of the field. Now, real quick, um, just due to time constraints, let's uh, take a look at this again zone. Okay, so again, zone, that yellow zone gets pulled back and you can throw that underneath it, okay? Um, so that so again, if you think it through, they're gonna have to use her, the deep crosser, okay? If they stay down, like if they stay down like this, it's really hard for them to get back on this deep post. So if they even flinch and they come down for just a second, that becomes wide open over the middle and it's one of the best routes in the game. Guys, that's tight end corner, at least part of it. Uh, we're going to be doing some stuff out of bunch tight end this week. Really excited. Come back tomorrow for another breakdown out of bunch tight end. Thanks for watching the video. For more tips and tricks and full ebooks and all that, join the Patreon. $10 gets you access to everything in the Patreon. Everything. Full ebooks, everything. Uh, 10 bucks. The link is in the description down below. So you can head down there and go check it out.